Yumi a breed of multifunctional dog used as herders, flock guards, watchmen, rat catchers, hunters assistants and companions. Bred in Hungary in the 18th century. Strong, hardy and hardy animals with an extremely independent character. They tend to wander. Loyal to the household, restrained with children. They can be aggressive towards other dogs. Pumi has an innate tendency to be as close as possible to the owner and his family. This is a very obedient and vigilant dog, with a sense of dignity. Pumi are undemanding to the conditions of detention, they have proven themselves as police and guard dogs. This is a breed of herding dog bred in Hungary. It comes from a bullet that was crossed with French and German dogs. For three centuries, the formation and improvement of the Pumi type has taken place, and today they are very popular. The history of the breed. The Pumi is related to another Hungarian herding dog breed, the Puli. The formation of the breeds took place in general conditions, and for a long time the dogs of these breeds interbred with each other. The formation of dogs of this type began at the end of the 16th century, when Hungary began to actively trade with France and Germany. Major regional shepherd dogs, later called major type dogs, mixed during trade trips, in which they accompanied cattle for sale, with local French and German shepherd dogs. Mixing occurred predominantly with rough-haired and long-haired dogs, related to modern Briards and Havelwurts. Also in the blood of Pumi, as well as bullets, there are breeds such as the Pomeranian Poodle, the breed has disappeared since 1935 in German Spitz. At the beginning of the 18th century, targeted work began in Hungary on the formation of breeds of shepherd dogs, the most suitable for work in the mountainous regions of Hungary. From this period, the line of dogs that later developed into the Pumi breed began to be infused with terrier blood to improve scent and poodle blood to form a more pronounced phenotype. For the first time the name of the breed Pumi appeared in 1801. It comes from the German word Pummel, which was supposed to reflect the fact that these dogs, despite their high working qualities, are small in size and appearance, throughout their life resembling a puppy rather than an adult dog in structure. The first Pumi standards and bullets were written by Dr. Emil Reitzis in 1910. Dr. Reitzis was the founder and leading professor at the Hungarian University of Veterinary Medicine. The first official recognition of the breed was also in Hungary, this happened in 1920. In 1935, the Pumi breed received international recognition from the FCI Sinological Federation. During the Second World War, dogs of this breed were actively used in the army, which led to the fact that most of the livestock was lost as a result of their death on the battlefields. Active restoration of the number of dogs of this breed began in the 50s of the 20th century. In the process of working to increase the livestock, the remaining representatives of the breed at that time were rushed with the blood of a bullet and various hunting terriers. This led to the fact that the phenotype of dogs of this breed has changed somewhat compared to what they were in the pre-war period, so some changes were made to the breed standard. The official standard adopted by the FCI was amended twice during the restocking of the Pumi in 1954 and 1966. Since the end of the 20th century, Pumi began to actively gain popularity outside its homeland. In the 1970s, it gained popularity in Finland, the Netherlands and Sweden as a working and sporting dog. From there, Pumi spread to other European countries. Appearance. This is a small dog. Height at the withers from 33 to 48 centimeters. The head is slightly wider and longer than that of a bullet, covered with short and harsh hair. The transition from a flat forehead to a pointed muzzle is smooth, almost imperceptible. The eyes are large, dark, round, straight set. The ears are semi-erect, with ends hanging forward, and in excited state they rise upwards. The neck is longer than that of a bullet, muscular. The chest is deep, relatively wide. The tail is set high, straight, carried down or curled, sometimes shortly docked. The coat is of medium length, coarse, thick, straight with a breaker wavy, evenly covering the entire body, head and tail, forming a mustache and beard on the muzzle. Any color other than white, most often gray, silver or graphite. Distinctive character traits. The character of the Pumi is active, energetic, they have an excitable temperament. Human-oriented and very affectionate, easy to socialize. Outsiders are treated with distrust, but without aggression. After the dog gets used to the new person, it will be easy to contact with him, including in the absence of the owners. Very playful as a puppy and as an adult. They also have an active display of curiosity. In the temperament of these dogs, the processes of excitation significantly predominate over the processes of inhibition, as a result of which they are gambling and addicted animals. This can make it difficult to learn commands, as dogs easily switch their attention from work to their surroundings. It also leads to the fact that even a well-trained dog of this breed is extremely difficult to stop by giving a command, so when training with them, it is very important to focus on developing obedience and attention to the owner. 
Also, due to their temperament and high activity, Pumi are prone to noise and destructive behavior, so they need to organize a long walk with a variety of mental and physical stress throughout the walk. During their stay at home, and especially in an apartment, they need to ensure that there are plenty of toys that are attractive to the animal, as well as from time to time, offer them various activities that can captivate Pumi and cause her to waste her energy. It is practically contraindicated for these dogs to be left alone for a long time, so it is not worth starting a Pumi for those who spend little time at home. It is worth noting that Pumi, as a herding breed, is prone to grazing, including when kept at home. This is expressed in barking and possible biting of people and animals quickly moving or moving away from the dog, as well as in similar actions against family members, including children. In this case, the dog does not show aggression, which is completely uncharacteristic of them, but seeks to gather together and calm those whom it considers to be its wards. In addition to herding instinct, Pumi also has a well-developed territorial instinct. As a rule, this is expressed in the barking of strangers when they approach the territory or when they enter it, as well as in the active guarding of the territory. They have a good sense of smell and show high attention to these actions, which, among other things, can be distracted from learning or following other commands. With all the contact, affectionateness, and sociability with family members, Pumi are quite capricious and independent in making decisions. At the same time, they are not characterized by the manifestation of dominant aggression and harsh attempts to establish a social hierarchy in their favor. They do not show aggression towards children and other pets, but they can show a manifestation of the hunting instinct in relation to rodents. Pumi are highly intelligent and, despite their personality traits, can demonstrate very high rates in training and training. They are able to memorize a large number of commands and complex complex actions that require the dog to perform a number of tasks within the framework of one given command. Traditionally, Pumi are used as herding dogs and guard dogs. Pumi are suitable for grazing any kind of livestock. In the 20th century, Pumi also gained popularity as companion and sport dogs for dog sports such as agility and dog dancing. They also show good results in various types of obedience competitions. Pumi are also used as hunting dogs for small and medium game. On farms and when kept in private homes, they can also play the role of rat catchers. Good instinct and interest in work made these dogs popular for use in the police, army and rescue services. In this capacity, they are most widespread in their homeland in Hungary, as well as in the USA. Maintenance and care. Pumi are unpretentious in conditions of detention and are suitable both for keeping them in a private house and for apartment keeping. Thanks to their coat, which almost does not get wet, these dogs easily tolerate both low and high temperatures. For apartment maintenance, they are also convenient because, due to the peculiarities of the structure, their wool practically does not fray even during the molting period. Caring for six pumi necessarily includes the removal of dead hair that does not clean itself. At the same time, their wool can be formed according to one of two types. The natural structure of the wool in this case, the wool falls off in small strands, or constant combing is an exhibition version of the condition of the wool. In the first case, the owner will need to trim two to three times a month and hygienic haircut is needed, in the second case, it is necessary to carefully comb the dog's coat at least two to three times a week, paying special attention to combing the undercoat to form a stuffed pad for the outer hair. Also in the second case, a haircut is required to a length of five to eight centimeters and maintaining this length of will. When cutting a dog, clear geometric lines of the silhouette are formed, it is important to keep in mind that Pumi's claws grow very quickly, the length of which must be constantly paid attention to and trimmed as needed. It is impossible to focus on the usual frequency of nail clipping and other breeds in the case of dogs of this breed. Pumi need a long and active walk with regular exercise. Health. No specific genetic diseases have been identified in dogs of this breed. With age, due to the high mobility and activity in dogs of this breed, arthrosis and acquired dysplasia are often found. Price and how to buy. Depending on the purpose of the purchase, the cost of the puppy will differ. Offspring without the possibility of exhibition and further breeding costs from 900 US dollars. If there are plans for future puppies as parents, then the price increases by two to three times. Show class puppies are even more expensive, and the price depends on the pedigree and what prizes were received by the parents of the puppies at various exhibitions. If you are looking for a show class puppy, then you need to contact the breeders registered in the Unified International Register of Breeders, where there is a guarantee of pure blood. In this case, a contract of sale must be signed, where all the circumstances are prescribed in order to avoid misunderstandings. Buying a puppy in unreliable places is a huge risk of getting a dog similar to Pumi, but not being it. While the dog is small, it is difficult to understand how the puppy meets the requirements.